This is the banana crop, a staple for most communities in Uganda. However, we are not talking food security this time. It's fashion. My name is Helen Kawahukia, a reporter with Solutions Now Africa. And today we see how banana was recycling. Two years ago, Solutions Now Africa's Helen Kawahukia covered innovative entrepreneur Maweje Dima and how he is repurposing the most unproductive part of the crop into fashionable products. Here, since we find the idea, banana fiber enhanced products are now fashionable fabrics on the Ugandan market. The question was, is there a way we can use this to actually develop a solution for the, for the sector or for the textile sector, for the fashion industry? We, we found ourselves creating communal fabric. Commune fabric is a new concept on the market. It is an alternative to commonly imported fabrics like nylon, leather, cotton and polyester. According to datasets from the Treasury, Uganda spends about 3 trillion shillings on fast fashion and textile imports. Globally, many synthetic fabrics were introduced as an alternative to natural ones to quench the demand and reduce manufacturing costs. But these synthetic fibers have brought an environment catastrophe. Cotton and polyester, the most common fabrics in Uganda, have high environmental and health impacts. Calivating cotton requires close to 10,000 liters of water per kilogram of fine and uses 16% of the world's pesticides. So when I talk about fast fashion, this is what I mean. More than one third of fast fashion material entering the African market ends up as waste in landfills and water sources. Banana fiber is one of the upcoming plant-based fabric alternatives in the world. So we noticed that because there are so many designers in this uh, in the world, in different con uh, continents, both Africa, USA, and then also in Europe. They are looking for what costs sustainable materials. And then we notice that uh, Uganda, the only sustainable material which is known in this nation is the back cloth. And then we found out how can we have another signature for the country. This natural fiber is biodegradable and sustainable. But Wedger Creations has been developing different products from banana fiber. For the last three years, they have been experimenting with various things to find the perfect fiber material. So the journey began by a very well of simply harvesting the banana. Uh, if you go to cook it, you can peel it, enjoy your meal. But then the beauty was of what has been left in the what? In the garden. So my creator pushed me to see how can I extract the fibers uh, from the stem, seeing it, peeling off the bark separating the fibers with a needle, and then from there we're able to bring these fibers to, to the, our, our, our factory using, what, using the, one of the most oldest technical technology to develop clothing, that is the weaving technology. Bananas are a valued plant. As Uganda's staple, it's grown across the country all year round. This ensures a year-long supply of banana stems that are usually discarded after harvest. Farmers are paid to supply them in exchange for an agreed fee. Tuwalite tuchimanyi, katinga wetu teme chugogo tusula cheche, chesule, paka maweji. Duya tani koku jirebia yimpola mpola nga soma, na tani kukula ati mbiai. Ya abu ya tani koku jamwe uzi, of course katia otuwa tetuchavi sula, maweji na tani koku jamu, uzi nga wetu vitema, to 
for the fiber material. A specific type of banana known as the juice banana, locally called kayinja, is required. Its stem provides stronger fibers in comparison to 84 other variants in Uganda. It took me close like two to three, two to three years to differentiate between those two. And then the methodology also, the technique also, the methodology is very, very important and always very crucial in the process of discovering that this is the kind of variety I need and this is the kind of variety I don't need to do when, I'm, when I want the fibers to do my fabric. To get the threads, thin sheets are extracted from the stem, a manual process that takes meticulous attention. This is the name of Gogo Saizi Yacho. Why is Gogo Nga Nga Chinene? How many Chidaka or Media Media? Why are they not Katoa Kavu Kola Katono? Karako, we need to get some other Katono. So Kakola, we visit in one hour. Nga Kamaze. We need to find out where to get to Kose. Where is Chinene? What follows is the hard work of needling the extracted sheets into fiber. Maweje has a team of over 10 workers creating this fabric daily. Using a weaving jack loom, the team interweaves the extracted fiber with cotton after it has been sun dried to create a fabric that produces an estimated 50 meters of fabric each month. It's based on designing. You get to know which length, width this or the fabric you're going to make and what will be the end product. They all have different measurements that you turn on then before you design the warp. That determines a lot of length and width you're going to put on your web and a particular design. Because some design may be working, may be good for the press mat, but they are not good for the fabric if to produce other products. The final product is unlike any other fiber. It's soft, foldable, and breathable. These traits have made it the perfect material for creating bags, shoes, and clothes. <laughs>